what counseling is what is the scope in the current scenario how was in the past why was there a was there a need of counseling okay how people used to manage the difficulties how they used to cope with the difficulties that that all things we will be getting in connection uh, with our today's uh, session okay so that is today is mainly in the first unit it is on introduction to counseling and you will uh, be uh, like coming to know about the introductory part that is also very important even though you might be all uh, be involved in different type of uh, settings uh, maybe or uh, you are you will you are all interested uh, to be in those type of settings in future also uh, and you you are, you are all maybe very compassionate and committed towards helping the people okay so that is what uh, um, uh, these lessons will help you the theoretical concepts will help you to move in a proper direction uh, even though um like um, uh, merely just uh, uh, the knowledge of uh, theory even though you are packed with many things uh, related to counseling but apart from that uh, the um, practical sessions or uh, the uh, how to handle uh, the people that is also very important in the very beginning of the sessions i told that it is not as an engineer a software engineer, a hardware engineer is connected with the computer working with the computer or an electrician working with all those gadgets but here you are dealing the human beings isn't it those gadgets or those hard computers you are not going to react towards you but here you are going to deal with the human beings where they also will react in the same way so it is handled with care you have to handle with care you are dealing the people as each individual is unique we cannot judge everyone uh, equally so that depends upon their perspectives their cognitive level their presence of mind so all these are very important things that you must uh, keep in mind while you uh, are while you be while, while you are with this particular client isn't it the uh, the person uh, an individual whom you are going to help with that particular person according to our language is called client um uh, there was a time yeah just when we go and move into the history uh, there were problems isn't it since uh, there was a, there's an inception of uh, uh, the world of human being people are into the problem they had many problems uh, but there was a time when there were supposed to take up uh, like a joint family system it was a joint family system people uh, the really the family members were connected to each other even if there was any problem they used to share with each other their problems were solved okay there was a time like that now um, um, after that much changes took place uh, people started shifting to urban area from the rural area or many developments took place uh, many innovations took place so uh, that became a little bit like uh, the life of the people started shrinking isn't it they they were not getting time to share with their family members and so and so as you all know it is the just i'm not going to repeat the same story every time okay so as you all are aware but later on uh, uh, like at this as the development was there in the same way people didn't have the time to share in the, at the same uh, parallelly uh, the people had many difficulties also they were into many difficulties they, they couldn't uh, uh, like because of their hectic schedule uh, because of their work stress because of their family issues because of their I mean, there were there, there were so many problems that people couldn't uh, uh, like uh, they they didn't find the time or they were not able to have a proper um, a system as how to cope up with the situation isn't it so that is what we now also we see um, Uh, in the current scenario also isn't it people are so much of uh, busy and uh, um, they are involved in so many of tasks that uh, they couldn't uh, they they are having difficulty to cope up with many of the situations and then there's a need of all these intervention strategies like uh, uh, case, case work group work counseling uh, helping people okay so there's uh, now the need of all these has uh, come up and um uh, the population like uh, the people uh, people uh, globally people uh, need an external help they want somewhere to share their feeling isn't it we see see um, uh, there were there was a time when people used to have socialization social gatherings even though there are many uh, opportunities for a social gathering but still they are in a, they are in a busy mood isn't it they just want to go and attend the thing and then they come back that means uh, they they are not relaxed every time they have lots of uh, uh, stressors etc so that is why we see in many uh, urban areas or many metropolitan cities uh, uh, there is a laughing club why that is uh, that has that club 
a club has been developed because they want to laugh. They, even they are not getting the time to laugh. They are not able to ventilate their feelings. They are not even uh, like um, uh, like no. They are not getting time to enjoy themselves. So that is why they have put a particular time that for this particular hour or uh, um, period of time they will go and they will express their feelings through laughing isn't it that is what how the condition is now so you, you could have understood how far people are in need of a help isn't it so this is uh, counseling is also one of the type where people want and uh, want to ventilate uh, their feelings uh, um, uh, somebody wants them to listen to them for the difficulties they want to um, uh, burst out they want to cry they want to share all these are related with and uh, we uh, the uh, people uh, there are certain um, uh, like section of people where uh, committed people they are ready to help the um, uh, individuals uh, or uh, the society the people in the community or in the society here the need of the counseling comes okay so this was a little bit of the introduction, and uh, we will see. So in uh, the, this uh, book number one is uh, divided into different units. In the first unit, it is uh, like about uh, uh, definition characteristics and the goals of the counseling and different stages of the counseling. And the second, it is essentials of counseling and uh, practical issues involved. And third unit is qualities and skills of the counselor. And um, uh, these, the second unit and third unit is almost a combination of uh, uh, all the things. Uh, we'll have the discussion on that. Um, and uh, so, uh, like, uh, we will be looking into the skills and the qualities of the council, isn't it? Even though it is easy to have an understanding about uh, the theories of uh, counseling, but when we start practicing with the individual, it may not be the case. Even though uh, we, we, uh, you may be very learned person about, or you may be thoroughly involved in the counseling theories, but when and in when an individual is before you, the picture may get differ. Okay, may differ. Okay, it is uh, their reactions, their feelings, all those to be catered, or all those have to be understood by the counselor. Okay, you must have a presence of mind. You must be very much involved in that. Uh, um, you must understand the feelings of the client. Uh, okay, uh, we have to empathize. We have. We must have an empathetic feeling. We must have uh, a confidential. We must be very uh, like competent in what we do. Uh, or um, like um, we must have the skill uh, of confidentiality, keeping the thing secret. Okay, um, or uh, uh, listening skill is very very important. Uh, like as every human being, isn't it? Even if you are in, you are attending the class after uh, half an hour or after forty five minutes, you will be getting disturbed, isn't? It? Yesterday also one of our student learners said that we want a break for a, a few minutes, isn't it? That is what the condition is. Said. The same is with the uh, when we when we attend a client. Maybe client is uh, like it is not every time a rosy picture, isn't it? The client may be sharing many different uh, aspects related to his, um, uh, like uh, the particular client's uh, difficulties or clients uh, uh, um, uh, about the client or client other systems of client, isn't it? So it is not necessary that we are very much interested to hear all this, but as a counselor or as a committed counselor or, or if you are in this setting you have to be very committed you have you must have pay, lots of patience you must have a listening skill naturally what happens after 15 20 20 35 minutes our capacity of listening may come down isn't it we may not be able to uh, uh, be too much of con uh, getting concentrated uh, giving getting concentration on what the opposite person or our client is uh, sharing that can be the thing isn't it then how you're going to work with the client then that is a question before us so all these matters so you have to be very much you have to be very uh, my, means i think we have to be very much dedicated uh, towards the uh, uh, towards the work, what we are doing, and that that is what uh, in this uh, um, book it is being told. And uh, I think the as I said in the very beginning, the contents included in the igno uh, igno text is very very simple. And we can uh, when you read, you can also get an imaginary picture how you be there or uh, how uh, what is uh, the role of a counselor? Okay, during a particular condition. So. Uh, I may be taking uh, an overview of all those things. Uh, and uh, you, even if you want to share your expertise or experience or your work, uh, of, if you're working in any of the setting, uh, your knowledge will also be a good uh, sharing to others also. 
okay so because as this is a practical uh, um, uh, like uh, you know this is a practical field isn't it where we are going to practice it this is a practice with the individuals so naturally your uh, ideas uh, your experiences will also will be a great um, uh, information to other uh, learners also so uh, it is uh, it is good that if you want to you can also okay okay well uh, uh, so getting to the theoretical framework we will start a little bit of uh, our uh, what is counseling okay so here the um, as i said uh, the main, the, uh, the main objective of this uh, lesson is to give an, an understanding on the need and scope of counseling and the basics of counseling okay as i said we encounter isn't it the human beings encounter the many confusions many challenges many difficulties um, uh, during their lifetime and um, here uh, they like you know uh, every time uh, even a small uh, uh, kid if he, uh, the particular kid is uh, uh, involved in some of the thing which is uh, which the outcome is not good the particular child will start uh, uh, like um, uh, Uh, yelling that oh i'm not able to do this i'm not able to do that i'm totally tensed and this is a word commonly now um, every each and every individual almost uses to to, to uh, like uh, 10 to 15 times so oh, i'm very tensed i'm very stressed i'm very busy all these uh, 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 words uh, means all these usages okay i can say these usages are very common and this has become a, become a part of our life okay uh, we are not able to find out any other alternative for this maybe because of the globalization maybe because of the environmental changes maybe because of due to pandemic or there can be many many reasons why we are like we have become isn't it uh, it is uh, maybe because of some uh, uh, outward uh, influences that uh, we are always in this issue we always will be some or the other day we will be saying that oh my god my, uh, i'm having exam okay you people also may be telling oh i have to submit assignment uh, uh, many many learners used to call us that see i haven't submitted the assignment uh, exams are very near so all these confusions it is it has it has become quite natural isn't it now this is a time where people are, are finding somebody else to uh, someone someone so that they can share all this uh, feelings towards this and so uh, if we are not able to handle this people how if if we are not able to handle our issues and how you can handle uh, uh, others issues and so see i'm a, um, um, a pro, i'm also cl taking classes for the regular students of uh, uh, msw ug and uh, bsw that is pg and pg and uh, uh, during our classes we some if the students are very much in a tensed way or they are very much in confused way or they are uh, means lots of if they come across lots of difficulties i used to uh, tell or i we used to discuss that see if one is uh, if uh, uh, you are not able to handle your situations properly then how you can handle the others isn't it you have taken the field of social work or you are in the you're learning about counseling so all these matters so first thing is that we have to mold ourselves we have to we become uh, we have to develop lots of presence of mind we have to develop lots of patience we must develop different skills observation skill listening skill interaction skill then only we can help a person this is uh, the overview and this is the major thing what i have felt from uh, my little experiences where uh, i had uh, 10 years of experiences in a family counseling center okay because at the when i like uh, i don't want to share my story uh, the whole day but just uh, just to uh, let uh, like you no know, when i uh, i joined the uh, counseling center in the beginning it was very hard for me uh, to attend the cases because uh, during my and our lifetime we haven't heard might not have heard all these situations but when uh, you listen uh, to a person who is into so hectic difficulty or a very difficult situation or a problem uh, or, or that you cannot imagine also so uh, well, i started thinking oh my god this is how people encounter so many difficulties okay how we are going to solve the problem how is going how is going how the particular individual is going to lead the life how that woman is going to lead the life later on so these are things what comes into my mind in the beginning but later on uh, while you uh, attend many cases 
this uh, while you come to know about uh, the psychology of the individual it is it will become a little bit more uh, liberalized or easy to understand the human being so here uh, also the theoretical aspect tells us the same what qualities what skills it need what is the process of counseling uh, how to deal with the people so we'll just uh, i will share a, a ppt uh, a little uh, certain slides uh, so that uh, we can also discuss on that so a counseling in some way or the other has been used by different people since the beginning of mankind uh, we used to share uh, our difficulties with the parents teachers friends uh, elders etc that is what uh, okay the scope of counseling now we need to know about the scope of counseling as they've all opted for uh, the counseling course you must understand what is the what is the need uh, what is the scope of counseling is it written? see it is said that it has proven effectiveness in dealing with human concerns and strengthening capacities of the individual the main thing is that we are helping others to help them so this is the tagline of um, um, uh, the this um, counseling session or the helping um, helping task okay you must understand that uh, counseling is not giving advice not how to somebody or not getting the things done to somebody it is helping others to help them so if you are uh, strengthening or you are capacitating that particular individual so that the particular individual is able to uh, cope up the situations or face a struggle in a positive way that is what our duty lies there okay so it is like it is dealing with the human concerns and strengthening capacities of the individuals and the major functions of counseling includes uh, like promotion prevention remediation restoration and accelerating growth of individuals here uh, we are helping them uh, to move towards a better uh, uh, better uh, life uh, preventing uh, whatever the difficulties if they come across uh, if they have encountered an, any situation, a difficult situation, what remedies we must find for them, isn't it? Whatever the skills they have, it is to be restored. Whatever the positives they have or whatever the situation, uh, if they are in a better situation, they how to restore the same thing in a better way or uh, their growth, their enhancement, their development, all these are included. We can help the people with all these things, okay? So uh, the individuals all in our language, as we call it, client. Client, when it comes to you, you uh, can mould in a better way. It is a counsellor who moulds uh, the particular individual. It is very sure that an individual, when approaches to you, maybe uh, with some any with, with um, the person may have some any objective or some ambition or some purpose uh, which he has approached to you, isn't it? So when we uh, attend that particular client. Attending is not just uh, talking or uh, um, looking or observing. It is a long process. Attending means it is a long process. Counseling is a lengthy process. It is not just within a few uh, minutes or 10 or half an hour. Uh, you, work, you work with the person and you just close the file and uh, meet the other person. It is not the case. It, is, it may go for many follow-ups. It may go for many days, for many many. Uh, different sessions okay we cannot uh, limit the session depends upon the problem uh, the sessions also um, depends okay the session depends upon the problem how the particular particular person is injured okay so these are some of the functions you have to include so as a student of uh, uh, counseling or uh, as you have opted this course it is very important that these things should be kept in mind okay that is what these classes or what whatever who uh, any any person who is sharing with you the knowledge will tell you naturally the same thing okay counselors address the educational needs as you understand what is educational needs vocational needs also education needs means uh, the related to the education uh, the um, uh, studies or uh, whatever the awareness or uh, uh, education in any it is not that the people those who are studying or uh, their academic wise it is not uh, you have you can give awareness you can give psycho education even if if uh, it is a rural community or uh, the literacy rate of that particular community is low you can uh, uh, support them with the uh, with 
uh, many uh, many you can educate that communities and uh, there are many visual uh, um, visual uh, um, aids where you can also uh, we can educate uh, this uh, people it is not that uh, the whole thing is to be done by the councillor but you can have a networking system you can find the people um, those who like uh, for example street play through street play um, uh, you can educate the people through puppet shows you can educate the people because uh, by just showing on uh, like as we are in this slide showing the slide uh, there may be people who cannot uh, understand in a community or in a village isn't it but you can educate you can find out the network you can uh, do a networking system where the education needs can be fulfilled or vocational needs if they have uh, if the if the community or the individual uh, needs some um, any any uh, um, um, any uh, like a path to move towards for a vocation, we can help them. The person needs of individuals, all these, uh, like, no, you see, there's a vast area. Now you can just be very positive that, okay, I'm, uh, I'm so uh, grateful, uh, or uh, I'm so like, I'm grateful to me itself that I have opted such a big course, uh, such a interested and such an involvement of a course where I can. Uh, showcase my uh, responsibilities in a better way, isn't it? Then counseling develops ability of persons to adjust with the situation. Okay, develop the ability to face the problem as we were just seeing. Uh, we're saying the same thing. Counseling also provides necessary information for taking effective decisions in life. Yeah, you're building um, a strong wall for a boundary for them so that the particular individual can uh, take a better decision also. Uh, also, it helps in developing the positive mental uh, mental health of individuals. Naturally, as I said um, uh, yesterday, also we saw, isn't it? So many psychological disorders. Even you see, there are so many child childhood disorders. Uh, then um, people are involved in substance abuse. Uh, children are involved in uh, substance abuse. Women uh, women are involved in substance abuse. So naturally, their mental health may be very down, negative. But it's very hard for us or a challenging task to. Uh, to uh, support a person with positive mental health okay but here the counseling uh, helps here we are there or we must be there to help the people in developing positive mental health also so here we we are providing a professional help we are not uh, like uh, the it is not counseling is not uh, uh, always sitting and praying or it is not giving advice, or it is not uh, like it is uh, always uh, teaching the class, but it is something by helping the people to help us. So professional counseling is provided okay, with the context of individuals, couples, family, do Also, like different, uh, there are specialized fields also, where particularly the counselors are involved in child counseling, adolescent counseling, geriatric counseling. That is why yesterday we had some lessons on uh, dementia care, and geriatric issues, uh, then childhood disorders, uh, adolescent uh, related also, or generally psychological disorders also. So that it is not that we are very highly or totally well versed with all the symptoms and diagnosis part. But when you come or when you come uh, across with this type of client you will come to know oh this particular client is totally disoriented or totally lacks or lacks insight so what is the next step i cannot work with the person when the person is totally disoriented or uh, doesn't have um, insight so what i have to do what i have to do there's a question before you isn't it then what you're going to do you are going to refer to the psychiatrist so that you have why this is because you have learned something on psychological disorders, isn't it? Otherwise, we cannot compare a lay, lay person uh, to observe the things and uh, sending that particular client to a psychiatrist. You are the one who have understood the difficulty, come to know that this person needs medication, this woman, this individual, this client, uh, individual, particular person needs uh, medication, then only we can go with the further step of counseling. So you come have come to know. So that is what professional counseling is, isn't it? And that is what you are also, you all have opted this course to get a professional learning, isn't it? So it is not as in the very beginning, just giving some, a few uh, lessons or a few informations, but it is up to you how you enhance your knowledge on this. You have to be updated. You have to work with the people. You need to have a, 
uh, um, apart from along with the uh, not apart along with the theoretical knowledge you also must gain a practical knowledge also working with the people okay then only you can work in this so you have become now you are going to become a professional counselor okay so counsel can also be distinguished temporarily whether it is intended for short term crisis counseling brief counseling or long term counseling there are different types of counsel we can see um uh, from the context of kerala i would like to express that uh, during uh, 2018 flood the whole kerala was uh, flushed out many many had many um, lost their um, uh, yeah loved ones they lost their property they lost uh, their whole how their houses were destroyed everything washed away so during that time many had um, many were into the hectic crisis so they, they, you know, they were not able to handle situation because of their hard work just went and it flushed away so during that time short term intervention crisis intervention uh, was very necessary and there were many people coming uh, forward to help uh, the people okay in, uh, with the counseling sessions to help how to help with the, the difficult situation at present they are facing isn't it these type there are so i mean to say that counseling sometimes you may have to give a short term counseling Uh, or a brief counseling or solution focused counseling what is particular i see in the later classes we will be seeing many steps okay naturally in yesterday also a day before yesterday also i mentioned that we need to have a, a systematic study exploration um, uh, assessment all these are very important but there are some cases where you need to have sudden intervention so this uh, during this time you have to have you should be very prudent uh, you what to do what now uh, how to what type of uh, counseling should be given the particular moment needs sudden help of yours isn't it so these things you should be um, like you know you should be equipped with all these materials also how to uh, give a sudden help uh, to a person who uh, needs uh, who is dire need of something isn't it so that is called short term crisis counseling or brief counseling also okay so different uh, the thing what i want to make uh, tell you that it is a vague area counseling is a vague area you have to attend different types of human beings you have to be well prepared with what you are going to do isn't it once you have a good presence of mind then also then only you can attend all these uh, the people with many other issues isn't it okay so that is what and as we saw uh, we can specialize in uh, different areas in the profession of counseling like the school counseling career counseling mental health counseling industrial counseling see the um, uh, branches are so many isn't it our work, the branches where we can work are so many that is what the changes have come nowadays uh, the um, uh, people from all walks of life uh, need some sort of um, uh, like catharsis or some sort of ventilation where they want to share their uh, uh, feelings it is i i don't want to say that difficulty problem but they want to share their feelings they want somebody uh, so that so every time they cannot depend on uh, the uh, near ones or dear ones but sometimes they need an external help and they do are okay so this is the responsibility of this see this uh, uh, subject uh, uh, 015 totally is related uh, to all uh, like all uh, the commitment what you have to uh, provide to us uh, right okay so that is what i am repeatedly saying that you are the people you are the people that you will have to involve uh, in many areas so there are some uh, distinct sub specialities also in, uh, this in this profession like specializing in school counseling career counseling mental health etc okay and other um, different type of counseling also Let's see specialized field solution focused counseling person centered counseling existential counseling these are many areas so your your knowledge should not limit to this particular uh, um, counseling sessions but you should um, you must have a flair in developing many other areas of specialized field also
okay from uh, like no origins we just will go back to the origins it is uh, latin word um, this counseling is derived uh, that word counseling is derived from the latin word consolo okay meaning to advise deliberate or consult counseling can be conceptualized in different ways so many definitions are there i have taken from your text the resources sources from your text itself okay so according to papensky and papensky counseling yes. is that yes okay according to papensky and papensky counseling is that interaction which occurs between two yes. individuals called counselor and client here your work starts counselor and client but as i said the people with the people where uh, the the help that is given to an individual in our language we call it them as client okay so this is a relationship between a counselor and client which takes place in a professional setting that is what is defined and it is initiated and maintained to facilitate the changes in the behavior of the client encounter so many problems isn't it uh, and distress are varied and at times create significant dysfunction also and you know demands uh, the now it's a competitive society where uh, like um, you have to gain lots of importance in this modern society we also have different types of family system like single family system um, or um, dual career couples dysfunctional families are also in increase all these uh, has to be um, like main uh, this all uh, this has to be faced by the counselor okay and also you know uh, each and every member of the family if you take a child uh, the child may have many problems if you take an old person the old person may have many problems if there is a husband and wife relationship you see there are many problems uh, uh, it is not a generalized statement but generally uh, now when you go uh, according to the researchers say that uh, uh, now uh, 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 like comparing to the other uh, time now it is there are lots of uh, challenges in the one slide So this definition uh, is very much uh, clear to you. Um, uh, in the same way, many people have defined about uh, the counseling. Um, uh, uh, the famous uh, Carl Rogers says in 1952 has expressed that counseling is the process by which the structure of the self is relaxed in the safety of the client's relationship with the therapist. Okay, and uh, previously denied experiences are. perceived and then integrated into an altered self okay so this is what many uh, many of them have uh, defined and uh, let's see the definitions uh, tell about that it is a process involving isn't it it occurs between two individuals so there is a process involves counselor and the counselee here we are using a professional knowledge expertise and skills that is what i gave you in in the very introduction itself that it is professional knowledge expertise skills of the counselor through systematic training that is why you have opted isn't it you have come to know that just merely giving advice is not counseling uh, you need to have thorough understanding of the theory you must be involved you must have a professional knowledge you must have a, like you, know, you uh, what to say that um, it is uh, you have to be certified yourself isn't it you need a certification you need to have a certificate that you are professionally qualified that is why you have taken this course so that is very very important see this is a very the decision board which you taken i should appreciate you all that you have say, taken such a decision to help the people in a professional way and that is not an easy task but you have you are there to meet the challenges to face the challenges and to motivate the society okay so good on your part so here also we are uh, helping them to take decisions uh, to find solutions for the problems of day to day life uh, also um, you we can bring changes in the life of the counselee also okay so uh, this is uh, like you know the definition where we we were discussing on so that uh, so much of responsibility we are have we have been involved in isn't it okay so that is what the definition portrays yeah once again i would like to repeat this is what i had uh, been telling you it's a process involving the systematic process it is uh, 
uh, uh, not like uh, something uh, uh, like anybody can do. It is systematic professional help you are giving. That means there's a process involving. There's a uh, personalized interaction. Uh, okay, uh, professional knowledge is very important. Uh, then um, we are helping them our uh, clients uh, to make decisions and find solution for the of for the problems of day to day life, isn't it? So. All these responsibilities lies in your hands. How you are going to deal with the uh, uh, with the human being or an individual? Okay. So, uh, like uh, goals of counseling, uh, some of the purpose of uh, or objective of counseling is facilitating a change in client's behavior, isn't it? See, looking into the slide, it is so easy to read and understand. But when we work with the client, I think we cannot achieve a, a sudden result. Result. As I yesterday also mentioned that it may need many follow-up sessions, um, but you can bring a change. But I'm sure that through my little uh, experience, I can say that surely we can bring a change in the client's behavior because uh, the person will be so much of uh, like, no, he, the particular person uh, gets a chance to, to express his feelings or we will have a good uh, transference. Um, there will be a good transference between the client and the a counselor or the, that or or we can say counseling and the counselor the particular client uh, gets a confidence in the counselor and um, uh, the, the interaction between two people will bring a positive change and so naturally we can there's one of the objective that uh, facilitating a change in the client's behavior that is what the client which will enable the client to live a more productive satisfying life life see you are doing such a, a committed job or a committed you are taking up such a responsible job that you are trying to make that particular client more productive and have a satisfying life isn't it yes i request each and every student learner to mute the mic please then improve client's ability to establish and maintain relationship, isn't it? The next goal is human beings live constantly in interaction with others. So here uh, we, uh, it is very important that you maintain a good relationship uh, between the client, with the client. Then enhancing client's effectiveness and ability to cope. Naturally, a person with difficulty might have approached you or maybe any confusions will be there. So you are the one who is uh, enhancing uh, the enhancing the particulars uh, or motivating or encouraging the particular client uh, so that the particular individual can cope up with the situations or handle the situations in a smooth way. And in future also, if the particular client is having any situations, difficult situations, the particular person can handle the situation in a better way. That is what we are, the, the responsibility lies in us. We are helping others to help themselves so that, that we are creating such an ambience so that they can help themselves. The client can provide a confidence in in itself, in that particular client itself, so that the situations can become, uh, uh, in a, uh, like, become good. Okay, then promoting the decision making process. Uh, it is very important that when you work with the client, uh, the their decision is also very important. Their decision should be respected. It is not we are dominating that, uh, uh, not to dominate that particular individual. Their decision making is very important, uh, and. If there is any um, um, like any um, shirking away from any or any uh, negatives about that particular decision, you can just suggest that. See, if you decide like this, this can happen. If you decide like this, this can happen. So it is up to you how what decision you take. In this way, we have to make them responsible to for the decision making process, and that is what it is said promoting the decision making process. It is not what uh, the uh, this, uh, the counselor is uh, dominating or deciding, and then uh, they are uh, doing that. It, it should not be like that. Okay, naturally, sometimes during our interaction, during our uh, different counseling sessions, what is uh, what happens is that we start advising, we start telling them, teaching lessons, or we decide everything that you must do you should do like that it is not it is very the very important thing is that we must help them in decision making process it is their decision how to go on with the thing that is very important and that is very a little bit difficult also but you must have that uh, responsibility that they must take the decision okay then the next goal is facilitating the client's potential and development another important goal is 
to realize their potential and effectively utilize. There may be many people with many negative thoughts. That is why the, there are many therapists called existential therapy. They may come to you, oh, I'm good for nothing. I have so many negatives. I have, I'm so weak in that. I'm so weak in this. But there is, but when you talk or when you interact with the uh, client, it is uh, good that you uh, share that, oh, uh, it is not you are always pointing out the negatives. What about your positive? Why don't you tell about your positive? Tell me your three positives of yours. See, five negatives, okay. I can understand that uh, you you have five negatives. But what about your three positives? Just tell me. Okay, when the particular client starts telling about these positives, the, the, uh, that uh, the client starts saying, oh, it is not only negative, but I have positives also. That is how you are facilitating. That is what facilitating the client potential. Okay. That is, uh, that is the meaning of facilitating here in this context. How you are helping, how you are encouraging, you are giving a pat on the shoulder of that particular client and telling, yeah, tell me, see, you have so many potentials. In this way, once the particular person uh, speaks about his potentials and um, the um, uh, positives, that particular person naturally will realize and there will be a good development and growth. So these are some of the objectives of purpose of yours. Okay. Okay, so the three core counseling functions, uh, if we see, it is relationship building. This is very, very important, relationship building or uh, building rapport, the client. Yes, still I think there are some disturbances. Okay, relationship building. Um, like uh, the phase involves joining the client, developing a relationship with the client and contracting with the clients. Contracting, that means you have entered into a um, um, professional relationship where uh, this has to move towards. Okay, so contract, there is a technical term also related to this in other countries apart from India. Um, you might be knowing that they, uh, they set a contract, okay, written a document of verbal contract where they have to sign if they are involved they have got involved in a counseling relationship uh, they have to sign and uh, sign the client um, like oh, client uh, must be convinced that okay there is a professional relationship between the counselor and the uh, counselee and this, this is a period where uh, you will be taking the sessions the period has to be mentioned if the period needs to go behind uh, beyond that again that contract will be renewed so there is a systematic uh, approach towards the counselor and counselor relationship okay but uh, that is one of the materialistic thing but now other than that there is a human relationship also okay here uh, both things are important but in our country we don't have such technical uh, contracts etc but the relationship building uh, uh, like from the point of view, a point of view of uh, human uh, concern it is very important you have to build a good rapport uh, you have to um, um, understand the client in a better way you must try to understand the client uh, you must accept the client we, there's a principle of acceptance so you must accept the client what the, uh, in the sense what as he is or as she is that is that is relationship building okay then assessing the problem you know, the counseling function involves listening to the client's story, identifying themes, issues. So assessing is not, and it will not finish within uh, 45 minutes or hour or uh, like so. But that will go on. It is a continue ongoing process. Assessing is called as an ongoing process. In other uh, follow-up sessions also, we have to assess the client. Okay, then only we can come into a consensus or you can uh, go with the diagnosis part and go with the intervention part. So assessing the problem is also one of the major area of counseling. So all these things, uh, even though I, I know that all, um, if it is told, uh, it will be hard for you to understand, remember, but when you start working with the uh, clients, you will come across all these things. Then you just combine the theoretical aspect with your practical session. It will be easy for you to handle the things. Addressing the problem next, when you assess, I said that it is how to uh, 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 diagnose or what the difficulty is, isn't it? The client must, must also understand that uh, I'm having a problem. I want a, uh, I want a help. Okay, so this is very, very important. Um, so uh, the counseling function involves working through the problem, exploring solutions, implementation of the solution identified by the 
clients. So the client must have the motivation. The very important thing is uh, must remember the client must have the uh, motivation um, uh, to cope up with the situation. See, particularly when we talk about uh, those who uh, uh, the alcoholic uh, community, I'll, the, those who are affected with uh, uh, are addicted um, uh, with alcohol. Uh, uh, if uh, sometimes I have seen uh, while I used to work in the council center, um, the relatives um, bring uh, in in a forced way. Okay, they um, they bring that particular individual uh, with uh, much pressure and force, and they they pressurize that particular person. But the person uh, doesn't uh, uh, is not aware that he needs uh, to uh, get rid of this problem. Uh, so that sometimes uh, to work with this type of situation becomes difficult. At the same time, if uh, the particular individual or the client is motivated that that particular per, uh, that I have to cope up with the problem, I have to get rid of this problem, I have to have a good satisfying life, then it will be easy for you. Otherwise, we have to um, uh, work a little bit more with this uh, problem with the individual. Okay, so addressing the problem, then it, uh, it will be easy for us to address the problem because we need the support of the client also. It is not, as I said, it is not what we dominate or we advise or we give a teaching or we shout at them. It is their response, it is their involvement, then only we can also be help. we can help them to uh, bring out um, uh, cope with the situation and that is very very important that sometimes become difficult for us maybe uh, this person might have referred or might have brought by their relatives um, or uh, uh, by uh, other um, other uh, like friends or peers or peer like that so but slowly during uh, one or se two second two session third session uh, slowly we will be get, getting a relationship with that particular client, then it will be easy for us to help that particular client. And so these are some of the things what I'm telling us, you will sometimes may come across or if you are practicing, if you are now a practitioner, you might have come across uh, through these things also, isn't it? Yes. So uh, the some of the characteristics of uh, now we saw some of the goals, isn't it? Now you, you might be having uh, some uh, uh, motivation in yourself. See, this is what my responsibility is. This is my commitment. Uh, I have to be very passionate towards my um, uh, towards my work. So uh, we were discussing so many uh, things about uh, the counseling field, isn't it? Okay. So uh, now um, some essential features of counseling. Counseling uh, there are uh, so many characteristics. Um, uh, related to uh, the counseling, the nature of counseling. You can also say that uh, the nature of uh, counseling, it is a relationship. Then it involves uh, the combination of many skills. Okay. Then it emphasizes self-help. It emphasizes choice. It uh, focuses on problems of living. Uh, all uh, those things uh, are related with the nature of the uh, counseling. Okay, so it is said, uh, uh, famous uh, learned person Richard Nelson Johns uh, has given uh, certain uh, features of counseling. This is what I have taken from your text itself. Okay, it is a relationship uh, as we were discussing about uh, so much of uh, about that. So then it involves a repertoire of skills. That means counselor uses a wide range of skills while dealing with the uh, client of varied needs and clients from different stages of the lifespan. Okay, skills are needed. Many skills are there. See, you have critical skills. You need to have interviewing skills. Um, and then you need to have interaction skill. You need a listening skill. You need observation skill. Uh, you need, need to have advocacy Many, many things you cannot uh, like, we cannot point to one, two, three, four, and have uh, that's a stop. But according to the situation, we need to apply our skills because you are with the human being, isn't it? The main major thing what we have to remember is that you are with the human being. Okay, that is the major uh, crux of this total uh, counseling field. Then it emphasizes self help, it is a helping process which gives emphasis to help client uh, to help themselves. Okay, that is what we were in the, from the beginning itself, I was telling you that this is uh, the client to help themselves. 
this is your capacity you are bringing capacity in the client so that okay these are some of the functions i just go through that then it emphasizes choice as decision making then it focuses on problems of living uh, then and you must understand that counseling is a process it is a systematic way of dealing the person there we need uh, there's a there uh, you need to have a step or or, or uh, uh, like you no know, in simple way suppose uh, even we you make a tea you will, there's a systematic way of making a tea isn't it so anybody oh tea making tea is so simple yeah it is simple but there is a systematic way of making a tea or if you make any of your uh, food stuff there is a systematic way isn't it the same way it is not in the same way i am saying that if for everything there is a systematic way for every thing there is a process or steps and that that is to be followed and here in the counseling field also counseling yeah. is a process you need to have a step wise or you have what you need uh, that uh, 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 like no, you need to have a, a proper uh, uh, formation of the things. Then only you can uh, um, get along with the client, or you will have a connection with the client. Okay, so um, the process means movement, a uh, flow, or the interaction of at least two people in which each is being influenced by the behavior of the other. Okay, so counseling is a process uh, of counselor and client. uh influencing each other okay so welcome back after the small break yes uh, uh, i uh, somebody was suggesting that i can mute the mic of each of the student but i'm not sure how to do that so i don't want to uh, but uh, li like naturally we have little bit disturbances uh, i think lisa is not aware of the thing the learner lisa please if you can mute your mic mic it will be very helpful for everyone Uh, yeah, we have a little, uh, some informations, but I'm not sure uh, what the messages what you have been telling because this is a schedule that has been uh, directly. You know, we are the academic counselors, and we are supposed to take the class about the other matters. I'm not sure. Anyway, those who uh, like belong to the study, uh, the regional center, they may be giving you the information. Okay, now there's a new also called a term called psychotherapy counseling and. psychotherapy so what is the difference between or what are the similarities between psychotherapy that also it is there in your text we can just um, uh, go on with the thing uh, see psychological disorders yesterday we saw that that needs uh, long term help some of the disorders long need long term uh, help medication um, and then other interventions also so all together we can call that counseling is also involved all together we can call that it is a psychotherapy that means psychologically um, different types of uh, uh, in the involvement of uh, different types of therapies are included and then uh, that part of intervention is called psychotherapy okay counseling is uh, it's a part of uh, like it's a it is a part and then you help a person with uh, by interacting or uh, networking all those things okay so there's these are some of the differences between the counseling and psychotherapy the psychotherapy if you define it is it is like a treatment by psychological means of problems of an emotional nature in which a trained person establishes a professional relationship with the patient with the object of many things isn't it like removing uh, the symptoms uh, the behavior pattern is modified Mm, then uh, enhancing the personality growth and development okay so some of the differences you see between counseling and psychotherapy is that uh, we name a different type of counseling like education counseling uh, educational counselor um, uh, then um, uh, and the family counselor all these names are there for counselors they practice it here psychotherapy is mainly practiced by the clinical psychologist or specialized clinical psychiatric social worker or uh, the psychiatric social worker um, who is uh, also has the understanding of uh, um, who has the understanding of um, uh, many other uh, medications uh, diagnosis uh, part all these are included okay counseling is having a relationship between the client and the 
counselor that is a difference and uh, uh, focus is mainly uh, almost the same like better the personal adjustment uh, uh, then um, 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 dealing with uh, like you know mainly uh, psychotherapy deals with uh, the psychological products uh, mostly and um, uh, the um, uh, counseling uh, deals with other than that also like academic uh, or family issues etc okay then the duration of uh, if you see in the duration the duration of counseling is little bit i am not showing ppt i am not showing ppt i am just uh, taking the session that's all i am not showing ppt that was in the very beginning i had uh, some slides okay then uh, shorter duration uh, the duration is, uh, uh, is not that lengthy for the counseling and but um, in psychotherapy as i said maybe the person the beginning uh, is uh, totally um, as a nil insight so we have to start with the medication slowly and steadily only uh, we can start the intervention so that is psychotherapy needs a, a little bit it, it, it needs a length, a length uh, the length of the psychotherapy or the duration of the psychotherapy is uh, a little bit long compared to uh, this uh, counseling and uh, settings related to the settings if you see it is practiced in different settings maybe uh, like de addiction setting counseling setting geriatric setting etc etc then uh, you have adolescent clinics so other than that childhood clinics specialized clinics are there but when you see about the psychotherapy it is mainly psychotherapy is done in a particular uh, clinical mode of setting where all the settings or where all the equipments uh, particularly for therapy is uh, uh, there um, different types of therapy can be taken place uh, or um, like in, in, if you give electroconvulsive therapy they need a special room for that so that is uh, the difference counseling can be given uh, any of uh, the any, any, any quiet place but psychotherapy is purely related to the medical based uh, setting okay then the goals uh, are almost we know uh, we are we want to uh, cope up the uh, cope uh, the struggles or uh, cope up the difficulties of uh, that particular individual of course uh, the the goal of the psychotherapy is also uh, almost the same it provides help to the individual for suffering from emotional uh, and nervous disorders here overall development counseling relates to the overall development of the client so these are some of uh, the Mm, uh, many uh, like um, uh, uh, many informations about uh, the differences between the psychotherapy and counseling and when we use the term there is a difference in the term we say here uh, for, as related to the counseling counselor and the client but in psychotherapy it is therapist and the patient okay that difference is there and mainly it is a medical model also so uh, and now you have all got an overview of uh, about a framework of counseling isn't it uh, there is a block uh, between uh, the the particular uh, there's a difficulty with the client client starts uh, finding out a place to, for intervention then approaches the uh, counseling center where there is a good relationship between the counselor and the counselee the counselor applies different types of uh, um, uh, systematic skills Uh, or uh, knowledge and uh, knowledge uh, professional knowledge where the particular person can get some help and then the client is made capable of uh, finding out the solutions of himself so this is a particular counseling model and this i think this uh, uh, many uh, many um, learners have pro many uh, um, uh, psychologists or the, those who were read, those who have worked in this field have given us different type of uh, informations but when you combine together okay uh, it is almost what they have expressed is uh, the same result okay so but as part of your learning or as part of uh, your uh, getting the information it is good that you understand different um, views of different uh, uh, different education education or academic uh, those who are in academics related to counseling okay in your text also uh, you can see different types of uh, uh, models given by different uh, people so once if you read one or two you will understand almost these are all same but it is good that you get the information of each and every one so we saw the functions
Yes. Next is the counseling process. Okay, as I said in the beginning that we need to have a good systematic way of handling the people, isn't it? Those are before you. It is not that you should become. That is what uh, the important thing is that. Uh, yes, Eliza, please mute the mic. Okay. Mm, um, you need to have a systematic way of dealing the uh, uh, human individual as you are in a professional, uh, this one, isn't it? Professional setting. So, uh, counseling, that for that we say a it is a counseling process. That means it is a counseling process. If there is a proper um, counseling process, it will be easy for us to handle the client in a better way. We can evaluate your, uh, We can evaluate. We can have introspection to ourselves that where we are, where we have to improve. Uh, all those uh, stuff will be. Yes, Lisa, please mute the mic. So all these stuff will be a great help for you to move towards the uh, process of. Counseling, that is what we need to understand about the process of counseling. Now we'll look into the process of counseling. Process uh, here, um, effective counseling uh, needs a process is an identifiable se sequence of events taking place over a period of time. Counseling also has different stages and uh, certain models proposed uh, as I said, many different models have been proposed by different authors and you can choose if, uh, what you understand better or what you need. You think that it will be good for me or for uh, a learner to work with the client or a counselor to work with the client. You can opt that uh, the, uh, particular process. See, it is a flexible uh, uh, type of uh, system where you can opt any type of process, but there should be a process while you help the person. Okay. So J.M. Fuster, a very famous um, uh, educator, has given us about uh, uh, different stages of counseling based on Kark's model. And first stage is preparatory stage. The first stage of uh, counseling process is preparatory stage that includes attending. That includes attending. And that is very, very important. Next is responding. Third, uh, the uh, preparatory stage, that is introductory stages, attending, isn't it? Bring, uh, uh, developing a rapport between the between uh, the counselor and the counselee. Um, uh, you must try uh, that particular client to be feel at home, a welcoming, uh, a, a smile at your face, uh, um, um, like uh, that you are ready uh, to help that particular person. You should picturize in such a way that when the particular client enters uh, in in your counselling room. There should be a presence, uh, presence of mind in yourself. You should be very pleasant. You should. It is not you are giving a welcoming note, but uh, your face must show that you have welcomed that particular client. And that is what it is a preparatory stage. Once these are things are done, uh, the client will feel at home. The client will think that oh, I am in the right place where I will surely get a help because the counselor is so much uh, uh, ready to is so much ready to welcome me or uh, the particular client, the, the particular counselor is ready to help me. So this is what is in the preparatory stage. Okay. Then second, first stage, properly if we start with the counseling process, the first stage is responding. The second stage is personalizing. The third, uh, the third stage is initiating. And last is evaluating or termination. Okay. So these are the, some of the stages. Um, uh, developed by Fuster. You can even have uh, the stages by other people also. In the text, there are many uh, uh, educators have given uh, their stages of counseling. So, in the preparatory stage, attending is important, very, very important, and that you have to develop the skill. Um, yes. Then uh, the, that is you are focusing on the relationship building, exploration of the problem, where you need uh, you need to have good attitude. You must respect, as I said, genuineness. You must we must be genuine. The counselors who are attending the particular client, then empathetic feeling must be there. Uh, then uh, for this we need different skills also. For this we need different skills also. Uh, we need to have social skills. We need to have attending uh, skill observing, listening, then only we can move further. Okay, 
And so here the first stage starts uh, the fust uh, um, by fuster. Uh, the, fu um, uh, the first stage is responding, responding verbally and non-verbally to the client. Even non-verbal cues are also very important. The gestures, the postures by you uh, also uh, will show that you are attending or you are giving a good response to the client. Yes. Any doubt? Can I ask one question, ma'am? Yeah, let me see if I can answer the question. Yes. <laughs> so nice of you, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, actually what happens that in counseling, uh, this is uh, what you're telling uh, is an ideal condition, but what ha what should we do, Ma'am, when the person who has come or who has approached us is not opening up despite yes. or whether if, if he's a kid or a youngster, then Ma'am, hmm. what is the ideal way of how to peep into his mind? Yeah, Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Very good question because uh, often we will uh, handle such situations where in the beginning session it is very hard for us to handle uh, the individual because uh, the individual, uh, the particular uh, individual, so called the person we call as client, is not sure that how you're going to deal with the uh, with that particular client, isn't it? So bring uh, to bring confidence in him. It, it, it will uh, or bring confidence that particular individual will take time. So in the beginning session, I think uh, if a youngster youngster may uh, be involved in many of confused confused mind or many things uh, will uh, he that particular youth uh, might have developed many um, um, of his own many perspective perceptions etc uh, etc. Et so in the beginning session, if uh, the particular individual is not opening. Uh, it is good that let him not open or let the client not open. Uh, we are giving, we are um, like, you no know, expression of feeling. We are giving an ambience to express the feeling. You have to wait for one session. Sometimes they are totally, they will be totally mute. First session is okay. So maybe if the particular person has come alone to you. You can, um, uh, you can express certain things uh, where uh, even though the person is not speaking to you, but the particular individual may be adapting all those situations inside. Okay. And slowly and steadily, I, I, as I said, it is not just within an hour or half an hour you're getting a good result. Maybe the second session only he will get, get or uh, he or she will get a confidence in you that you are okay. So that will happen. But you have you should have presence of mind. There should be patience in you. Then only we can get along with the client okay and kid uh, dealing the kid is also a little bit a challenging one uh, i think if a kid has come naturally they are bystanders like so-called parents will also be there so we can have we can get some informations from the parents and then note it down and then finding out the other ways and means to help this particular kid and youth also okay i don't know i have shared the correct answer but these situations will appear surely i'm very sure that you will face these situations and okay so um, here uh, like responding I, as I, this uh, what um, our learner has uh, uh, like uh, asked the query isn't it responding sometimes uh, uh, non-verbal uh, gestures will tell us about the particular person's situation uh, we have to have a good observation uh, we must respect uh, their we must give uh, but still we uh, must accept the client we must respect naturally as a human being sometimes we will also uh, will be annoyed by the behavior of the uh, person who is sitting before us okay uh, sometimes we may lose our temper but it is not you have to have or uh, to avoid all these negatives in you and you have to be very much presentable before the client and these are some of the challenges what we are going to uh, what you, you if you're a practitioner you would be facing this or we have to have these type of skills in us that you have to be very patient you have to respect that particular now who says that no why should we respect the client as we have done our uh, course in counseling i'm there in my room i why should i respect that is what sometimes a question can be before us but it is not when there is a when you have to form a good relationship between the client we must uh, be presentable we must try to accept the client we must be genuine as whatever you are going to do the work you um, you must be sincere at work in your work it is not that if you want you are uh, you are expressing so many of things that cannot be achieved so that is not the way we must be sincere in work we must empathize you know what is empathy isn't it then you have to be concrete whatever you uh, you are uh, there you have to be uh, st uh, strong in your expressions 
then self disclosure you must try that um, uh, all these are uh, like you know it is uh, disclosed or everything is expressed all these are make very much important the next stage is according to few stories okay and again uh, giving trust on the process which i am expressing now is from by fuster um, it is the next is personalizing uh, helping the clients to personalize and problem and create insight okay then um, the third is initiating how to initiate how to work with the problem that is very very important so here when if we are expressing it it is okay but when we start working with the client we need it it may go may, uh, for many days or many months to initiate itself as you as one of our learner has a doubt uh, see uh, it it may be sometimes it becomes hard for us uh, to start the, with the problem or to initiate with the problem how to begin uh, how to who is going to ask the question or whether that particular client will be or will be uh, will open everything to us how you are going to make it sure so all these are the some of the challenges but natch i'm very sure that after two or three or four sessions naturally that particular client will have a will uh, develop a confidence in you the particular person will uh, think that okay i'm in a right place that uh, i think i don't know in exceptions are there some cases may be there but uh, mostly uh, if you are genuine naturally you will have a good uh, start or you can initiate 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 uh, the things okay so that is one of the third stage it is said You know, working with the problem, trying out the solutions. So both the parties, the counselor and the counselee, uh, will uh, have so many of interactions, so many of confront. Uh, maybe you will have confrontation. We have to apply many uh, verbal skills also, non-verbal skills also. Sometimes, if uh, the uh, like, no, uh, to show that you are you are into the particular individual's problem, it is very important to give prompts, certain prompt. Okay, then what happened? Yes, can you tell me again, or can you just? Oh, and I can understand. These are some of the prompts uh, which will help or encourage that particular client to speak in a detailed way. So these are some of the skills also you need to um, handle. Uh, you need to develop yourself while you are dealing with the client, and also uh, see some. Uh, these are some of the verbal following skills. Okay, verbal skills where you apply. You must apply uh, to open up. Uh, so as you said, uh, what to do to open up. so it is if one is opened up you can just try to in uh, motivate or encourage or give a support and at the same time um, once uh, the particular uh, person has stopped telling all the details you can summarize what uh, the um, particular person has told or you can paraphrase it okay that means you have said so and so that means you look into this area okay so you mean so and so you can just rephrase the words or you can restate the same uh, restate the words without changing the meaning or this can also be done okay so why these all things are done that means that will show that the particular client uh, um, uh, client to show that client is involved or uh, client uh, client To, to show that the counselor is involved in the uh, client's uh, problem okay these are some of the you know, verbal skills and non verbal skills are also there like you are leaning forward uh, to hear the lessons properly uh, to hear the information or you have to uh, listen the problem properly that will show that the uh, uh, the client it will give a picture towards the client that the counselor is so much of interested in the client to listen the problem so he will open up again so this is some of the non verbal skills also where you can showcase it and then um, like uh, um, after that uh, we have to evaluate and find the beneficial intervention and facilitation of the sustenance of impact made okay evaluate after implementation and modify the plan action based on feedback sustain motivation using reinforcers uh, we as reinforcement and theory tells isn't it if you encourage uh, with certain good words that will be a great help to the client uh, to uh, um, like to intervene or the decisions that has been taken as a part of intervention that will help that particular client to get along with so these are some of the uh, things by fuster in the same way yo and antony has proposed four stages of counseling it is all uh, every each and every educators those who have mentioned uh, the counseling process is almost the same like relationship building phase as you know it is very very important as a beginner 
as you are, I don't know how many of you are uh, practitioners or how, how many of you are going to begin with this um, profession. Anyways, it is very important to keep in your mind that relationship building is very, very important or rapport building. Okay, then exploration and understanding the phase, problem phase, solving phase, termination and evaluation phase. These are some of the steps given by Anthony. So detailed thing is also there in your text. You can go uh, uh, through the text. Uh, here, uh, like Carol and Michael have given five similar stages of counseling. That is preparation, assessment, contracting, engaging, terminating. Okay, all these are almost interrelated. Whatever the different, uh, many, uh, many scholars or educators have given us about different. And here the termination means winding up the case. Okay, once uh, we think that, okay, the client is uh, capable of solving the problem uh, by um, itself, so we can prepare that particular client that you are going to end the relationship. Sometimes it may, will become hard because already the um, client uh, has uh, got dependent on you. So uh, the particular client will have, uh, will have difficulty to end the um, relationship, but it is not that, it is a professional relationship directly um, after uh, many sessions you think that the person is okay you have to make him prepare that your uh, the relationship will get over uh, and uh, you can uh, the particular client can help particular client himself to solve the problems okay so we should not have any sort of transference or any sort of counter transference developed and this will help to terminate and this particular um, situation is called termination in counseling language. Okay, this is called termination. In the same way, uh, Indian educator Rao SN has also given elaborate phases of counseling. Uh, you have uh, eight stages. You have eight so, uh, small, small stages uh, that also uh, you can also apply when you start a process with the client. It's up to you. You can choose yourself. Okay, stage one is awareness of need for help relationship building, expression of feelings, and then exploration of deeper feelings, and then synthesis and integration of all the uh, information given by the client, then um, getting to the goal, focusing on the present and understanding the past. These are some of the very much detailed assessment and the steps what Rao, S. N. Rao has given us. Okay, then awareness and insight that the particular client must be aware that, okay, he is... Uh, um, uh, with this problem now what is the uh, what is the solution or what will how to cope up with the situation okay then generalizing gains to day-to-day -day life how to have um, solutions to the problem how you're going to face so this is what SN Rao in the same way many of uh, people have given uh, many stages there are many stages okay so as uh, we were just expressing all these things, it is uh, very important that you need to have a theoretical foundation. That, that part is given in your text also, theoretical foundations for counselor. We must be thorough with the theory, how to get along with the client when of this. Uh, you, are, uh, you are a little bit different with the lay person, okay? So you are professional, you have to have professional skills in you. This is very, very important. Theories and these informations will help you to organize all the you know, things. Uh, like no you will uh, like there is a, you will provide a framework of action it will give a um, a frame how to go uh, along with the client these theoretical foundations that is why you have been given classes for this okay uh, so that you can work uh, with the client in a better way when you go for a practical session you can uh, take the help of these theory or theoretical foundations then also it helps uh, um, like to have the answers, proper answers. Theory help the guide. Uh, theories help guide the helper. All these are very, very uh, like important. Uh, so it is found that, uh, see, so much of advancement has been taken uh, in counseling, yeah, has been brought up in counseling. I wonder, like 350 counseling theories and therapies have been advanced. See, it is a very great achievement, isn't it, for us all? For all of us, uh, uh, like uh, 350 counseling theories and therapies, 350, the number is so high, isn't it? So, in uh, as I said, you must update yourself. You, you must have a regular updation of your learnings. Uh, you must learn more and more. That is what I want to suggest. Because when you are in a field of a practical, uh, like uh, uh, practice field, 
it is good that I mean we need to have an understanding of many theories prevailing or research has been done on this area. Okay, so the 350 counseling theories have been advanced, advancement of 350 theories. Okay. And these theories mainly uh, uh, are all interconnected. This includes uh, stages of development of the people. It is very important that each uh, you must understand the stage. I think in, uh, in other uh, subjects, you have uh, uh, the stages of development clearly uh, been given so that you can understand different stages of development. Each stage of uh, development uh, uh, showcases uh, different, um, uh, uh, different aspects. Okay, uh, it is not same as uh, the in the childhood, what you see in the adolescent, what you see in the adolescent is not in the adult. So these understandings are also very important uh, for you. You When you start practicing or if you are a practitioner, you come to know, isn't it, as uh, the difference between an adolescent uh, uh, aspect, uh, the requirements of the adolescent is very, very different uh, with the uh, person who is a senior citizen. So all these understandings are very important because it is not you are going to deal with particular, um, a particular, uh, um, uh, limited to particular age. Area. you are it is a vague area you may have to enter into the world uh, in a wide world of helping situations okay so these are some of the things uh, what I think is very important uh, for you all to understand that is why theoretical foundation is very important then you have to understand about the normal and abnormal behaviors that is what yesterday the lessons were on that um, uh, like uh, about the functioning uh, uh, about understanding some of the abnormal uh, areas of individual then how to provide healthy development, psychoeducation, awareness classes, uh, how to build networking skills. All these are very, very important. See, this is uh, your uh, profession is not limited uh, to in a capsule. It is uh, you have to explore yourself in a wider way. That is what uh, the counseling is. Okay, uh, or the counselor, if you are termed as counselor, you have to explore yourself in a wider way, in a larger way. Okay, all these are some of the motivation uh, uh, or the tips, what I think is very, very important for you all as a learners of this course. So we here we can apply different approaches. We can apply, apply in a psychoanalytic approach, psychodynamic approach, existential approach. Uh, we can uh, apply the therapies. Yesterday we learned uh, rational emotive behavior therapy, then uh, client-centered therapy. Um, uh, then uh, behavior therapies, all uh, the, the knowledge of all these things is very important. If you are, if you don't want to practice the therapy, if you don't, you are not confident in applying the therapy. You can refer uh, uh, to your own fellow being uh, those who practice the therapies, so that uh, the, the client uh, will get an intervention uh, for that. Okay, yes. So uh, the first unit is over. Uh, let's uh, get into the second unit. Essentials of counseling and practical issues involved in counseling. So, uh, like um, counseling, uh, what does uh, now we have discussed so much things, isn't it? Some of the overview, uh, general overview, I can share some of the general overview where the essentials of counseling, uh, counseling uh, requirements for counseling. Okay, so uh, you don't take it. I think I would suggest the learners that this is. It is not a, a simpler uh, uh, counseling is uh, cannot be taken in a simpler form. Uh, most uh, it is a big involvement of yours is required in this. Okay, the professional uh, counts of counseling. Uh, like, uh, like it was uh, this counseling emerged in uh, USA and UK in the beginning. Now it is uh, almost spread to other parts of the uh, world also. The requirement of professional accountability. Is very very important growing influence of professional associations is very important we must be connected with other professional bodies also uh, there should be uh, you should be a member of uh, um, other professionals uh, related to counseling uh, and uh, like you know all these and also uh, now uh, the requirement of the counseling counselors has become very important in the education field also each and every school whether it is uh, government aided or it is a non-government um, run uh, institution, or it is a, uh, it is CBSC, or it is ICC, they must uh, appoint a counselor, uh, um, particularly in the education field, the need of the counselor is very, very important. And even if it is a college, like having a, a higher education, giving higher education there also, 
um, uh, the count, need of the counselor is very, very important. See, I work in a, a self-financing college and we have two counselors in our institution. You will not believe we have two counselors, learned people counseling, or they provide only provide counseling to the students and uh, um, a counselor in a UT section, undergraduate programs and um, the other counselor for the PG program. Okay, so see how far the requirement is, isn't it? They and when sometimes they express uh, like no, they they come across uh, the children or the students uh, those who have so much of problems in their family, in their uh, personal relationship. Uh, many are addicted to other substance abuses. Um, then um, many are in uh, in an uh, what you call infatuation world. Okay, some have financial difficulties. Um, and all all those stuffs, many many difficulties. Uh, some have difficulties in their studies. Some uh, uh, some are not able to cope up with their siblings. Some are not able to cope up with the current situation of education. They they are involved in the children are involved. The students involved in so many problems that they uh, they are unable to handle the situations themselves. So these are shared. These problems are shared to our counselors there. So just think, there's a requirement of counselor is. In the, in a, there's a, so much of need of the counselors in every setting, isn't it? Okay, what do you uh, do? You have anything to speak on this? Can you share, uh, ma'am? Uh, regarding counseling, uh, you are uh, uh, telling us to share, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I find very difficult to counsel the young kids mm -hmm. whenever I uh, go for. Are you a any... practitioner? Are you now a practitioner? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, right now, I am not a full practitioner, but sometimes I am invited because since I am a student, so sometimes I, I go for a counseling session of the youngsters, those who are studying in okay. class 10th, 11th okay. and 12th. Okay. So I found that uh, they are having trouble regarding their concentration and mm -hmm. they always say, sir, how to concentrate in studies. And secondly, one very uh, uh, strange thing I have observed, ma'am, that most of the uh, kids, those who are studying in government schools, mm. uh, yeah. they are addicted to some or other kind of uh, addictions, just like yeah. pan masala and other things. Now, yeah. it is very uh, shocking uh, how they will build their career and how they will uh, they are going to when we ourselves are fighting. Mm -hmm. So, how to ma'am uh, uh, make aware of them that these things are very bad for their health and uh, yeah. how to proceed further? Okay, I think uh, if this is a common issue, uh, we can provide uh, some awareness classes with some visual aids. Okay, so that will affect uh, the mindset of these kids or the youngsters and uh, the statistics, the current scenario, some of the examples, some of the experiences of addicted people, how they face the difficulty, what issues they had come across all these because it's a school level uh, you will uh, get a homogeneous it can be a homogeneous group so the whole group uh, can be given such type of psychoeducation classes then uh, in between uh, that will uh, uh, like um, uh, give a little bit uh, eye opening to these kids and then they will personally come to you as how to get rid of this issue i am also uh, affected with this problem how to get rid of the problem so i think slowly and steadily we can uh, move towards this but it is uh, like uh, you uh, they should understand the harmful effects of all these things and here uh, they you can also have a talk with their parents if it is possible what type of work they are involved in what type of background the family has what type of uh, or what type of uh, friend circle uh, these uh, students have so these are it's a multidimensional assessment when you work with the uh, client it is not only you're focusing on the client but the whole uh, other dimensions are also very important so i think uh, slowly and steadily if you work with this uh, you will uh, you can bring a little bit change in the student's life uh, ma'am can i add something yeah yeah sure right uh, you know what what the previous uh, uh, person shared uh, you know especially uh, when you talk about students in class 10th or 11th are getting addicted to smoking and everything uh, the basic reason I feel is, uh, you know, uh, easy accessibility and, uh, you know, the environmental factor. 
but uh, you know if you talk about giving them uh, you know awareness and showing them pictures in the harmful effect i'm sure uh, a, a, a you know a kid who is in 10th or 11th uh, definitely knows uh, you know the effects and the harms of uh, either smoking or chewing tobacco or whatever and uh, you know even on the on the cigarette packets also uh, it clearly says uh, and you know the images are also done so i think uh, you know uh, beyond that uh, you know getting uh, to the root problem uh, making them understand and getting to the reason why uh, they going behind this uh, maybe it's uh, because of uh, you know the peer pressure or maybe uh, they want to concentrate on studies because they you know this is a very uh, beautiful myth that goes on that you know with smoking or uh, maybe uh, you know having weed or something uh, it, your concentration levels uh, goes up uh, definitely it does go up for some time but uh, eventually it has bad effect so uh, you know anyone who is using it already knows that it is harmful for health so uh, something beyond that should be done and i personally believe that uh, the awareness camps in the schools should be started off at uh, pretty early class stages but uh, keeping uh, you know thing in mind that it's a very sensitive issue that to kids uh, you can't introduce the pictures and everything because that would give them an idea uh, okay you know what oh, all right you know we need to try this thing and uh, if they're saying uh, you know the if it works that way let's give it a shot so it is a very sensitive issue that has to be dealt with and uh, at the basic root level i think it has to work harmful effect everyone knows uh, right so i think uh, beyond that why they are uh, moving towards that uh, that is the core a uh, factor that needs to be worked on not on the base factor uh, that that's that's what i what i am mind to this yeah the suggestions uh, which our learner provided is really very effective i think and the what uh, has been told is uh, yeah it, already they know everything isn't it what next let us we have to work out with that uh, maybe um, because of environment reason peer influence peer pressure all these can be a reason uh, yeah it is little bit a challenging task also and uh, now as we know that uh, more almost uh, all the kids in the education institutions um, are into this uh, chain of like this dreaded chain of addiction and uh, the suggestion which you provided that from the very beginning itself um, i think there the teachers and the students can have a good relationship uh, um, so that if and if they are in a problem they can approach their teacher and teacher can refer to the counselor uh, so th this can be started from the very beginning classes itself that is why i think nowadays uh, the educational system uh, is uh, like uh, making compulsory so that uh, the each and every school must have a counselor so that will uh, bring a little bit change and there are uh, we can see some changes also but still uh, no uh, not vast changes but i think many of them uh, if they put in the difficulty they approach their teacher so hopefully i think it will move in a better way itself okay okay so in the next class we will start unit 2 uh, or um, I, I, like uh, yeah i have started i have already started about the essentials of counseling isn't it the need of counseling the clients and the counselors uh, the initiative the important thing is about the physical setting yeah the important that i want to share to you uh and the physical setting is very important um we it is not that you can conduct counseling wherever you want we need to have a very quiet uh, place uh, a good ambience is important uh, uh, that is also very very important aspect uh, uh, while we conduct counseling so uh, like uh, the most important thing is about uh, you should you it will should be uh, uh, and uh, like and away from the disturbances and uh, uh, noise then uh, client qualities to be taken care to to be considered counselor also needs uh, many qualities like uh, maturity empathy presence of mind patience all these were told to use into the essentials we came we were discussing all this uh, from the beginning itself so i don't want to repeat the same thing and then again and again um, okay then in the next session we will start with the personal qualities of an effective
counselor okay 